Hi everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. In this episode, we're going to learn how to assemble the Box 002 chest from Go7Gaming.com. This is a general storage solution for card-based games, so it allows you to store decks from games like Magic the Gathering or Android Netrunner, or both. <laughs> it comes with these dividers so you can partition your different decks and take them all at once in a very portable way to your gaming group or wherever you want to go. So join me at the table and let's learn how to put it together. To start, I've laid out some old fabric on my tabletop surface. We are going to be working with glue. We don't want to make a mess of things. Or if we do, we at least want to be able to throw that mess out and not get blamed for it. <laughs> so what I've got here is some LePage Express Quick Drying Wood Glue. Any good quality wood glue should do the job. This is the one that I prefer. I also have some paper towel here to clean up any messes and of course the product, which is in shrink wrap. So the very first thing I'm going to do, clear this all away, cut off the shrink wrap, and we'll be ready to go. Now, I know it looks like I've gone ahead and assembled the entire box without showing you any of the necessary steps, but that's not the case. What I've done here instead is a dry fitting. So I've just put everything together without using any glue. And this is something you want to do to make sure that you understand how it all goes together and then to make sure that everything fits together the way that it should. The nice thing is that this is basically idiot proof because there's not really a way to put it together incorrectly. If I tried to put this panel where this one's supposed to go, the grooves wouldn't line up. One thing I did fail to mention though, is you're gonna to wanna to have some sandpaper on hand as well. I recommend 220 grit, and you're gonna to wanna to sand the sides of these panels. I'll show you why, because this is the cover. It's gonna fit over top of this card box. So if there's any roughness on the inside of this cover or on the outside of the box, it won't slide together like it's supposed to. I already sanded mine in advance because I didn't wanna get a mess everywhere. <laughs> but you'll wanna do that before you start the assembly. Speaking of which, let's break out the glue. I decided to start with the inside of the box. And listen, I know when you start gluing things together, it can be a bit intimidating because you don't want to make mistakes and a mess. But it's really straightforward. What you're going to do is run glue along these inside grooves, just like this. You don't need to put a lot of glue, but you want to, you know, at least cover the surface. And once you've filled in all of these sort of inside grooves, you'll see that when we put this wall against the base, these tabs are also going to be touching. So this is another spot we'll want to add some glue. Again, not too much, but enough to cover the area. And now it's time for the moment of truth. We can put it against the base of the box. And you're gonna notice that some of the glue is gonna come mushing out here. That's fine, that's normal. With a little bit of paper towel, you're just gonna run along that groove and smooth it out. And you'll wanna do the same thing on the outside edge as well. And although there might be a strip of white color here from the glue, it's going to dry clear, so that will go away after a few hours. I'll glue on this other wall, and then you can join me, and we can look at how to put the end pieces on. The ends work the same way. They just require a little more glue because there's more points of contact. So I have a little bit of glue on all of these tabs, and then on all of the inside grooves as well. Then you can just put it into place like so. This is also going to help ensure that the long walls are in place because the glue on those shouldn't be fully dried yet. So if you need to adjust them slightly to ensure a firm fit, you can still do so. And as before, you're going to want to clean up any of the excess glue. If you have trouble reaching into these tight corners, then a little Q-tip can work just as well. Just reach it in there and swipe the inside corners. And don't forget the bottom of the box as well. Some of the glue can come mushing out there. So you want to just clean that off so you don't get stuck <laughs> to your tabletop. After things are glued together, I really recommend you let it dry for a few hours, maybe four or five. And if you have a weight lying around or some heavy books, put it on top. You want all of these grooves to be pressed in together firmly in place while the glue sets. The cover for this box goes together the exact same way, so I'll just glue that quickly together and then we can come back and take a look at the next step. All right, so the glue's drying, that's no fun, but there's things still to do. We have our dividers and they're covered in this protective film, which you're gonna wanna take off so that then your dividers look like this. It's pretty simple, just find a corner of one of the protective films and then tug at it a little bit and you should be able to pull it away pretty easily. And then you do the same thing to the other side, like so, very simple. After you let things dry for a couple of hours, your box is all set. You can see in mine, I've stored my Pathfinder adventure character. I've got two decks from Android Netrunner. 
teach you, love letter, and the entire two-player Ascension deck building game. And I've got five dividers left over for a different configuration with different games. Well, if that's not enough, they also have an engraving option. They have a few standard different designs that you can have emblazoned across the top of your box. You just have to pick which one you want when you're ordering. But that's everything to it. If you've got any questions at all, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. But until the next episode, thanks for watching.